Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Once again, sorry for the microphone, I am still not with my normal microphone right now, but it's going to be back probably on Monday. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about some Supergirl news that has come out. We've got two new synopsises for episode 2 and episode 3. We've got a bunch of photos for episode 2. We've got to break it all down and talk about everything in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is exciting stuff. Obviously, you guys know that over the last week, I haven't, you know, been uploading too much because I've been at university and it's honestly been kind of hard to keep up with everything and, you know, I've been back and forth from my normal home and from the university because it's like over the other side of London and, yeah, everything was kind of a mess, right? But now we're going full throttle into DCTV because Supergirl comes back in three days' time. It's Friday right now comes back Sunday night I cannot wait to talk about Supergirl with you guys once again so please be sure to share this round on Twitter on Instagram on Facebook wherever you share stuff reddit I don't know please be sure to share this video around share my channel around as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers I have no doubt we will hit it in the next few weeks due to the fact that the shows are coming back it's obviously been slow because I haven't been you know uploading as much but that's my own fault and also, you know, not much news, but, you know, news is coming, the shows are back, lots to talk about, so get ready for that. So, let's go ahead and get right into this by talking about the episode 2 synopsis, then we'll go over the photos, then we'll go to the episode 3 synopsis. Okay, so, this is how the synopsis goes for season 5, episode 2. Alright, technology becomes the new threat. Supergirl, Alex, and Brainiac thwart an alien attack, while William investigates Kara. John Jones and Kelly use Obsidian Tech to solve the problem. Okay, so that synopsis is obviously really small, and that's the first time I've actually read it. I didn't want to, you know, <laughs> look at it before the video. But, so my initial impressions, I find it kind of weird that they say, while William investigates Kara, and this has been released before we've seen episode 1, we've never seen William, so... If someone was to read this press release and not know, you know, the behind the scenes stuff, obviously we've seen him on set, we've seen Staz, who is an English actor, he's going to be there, fingers crossed he doesn't do an American accent, that would be very nice. No one would know who William is, so I feel like they should have wrote, while reporter or new reporter at Catco or wherever, William investigates Kara, that would be better. I just don't think that works in terms of, you know, the synopsis, but apart from that, the synopsis is short, but teases enough, so technology becomes the new threat. This is what they tease at Comic-Con. When I got to interview the cast members of Supergirl, including Melissa, Kyla, Azzy, Nicole, everyone, even David, and, you know, basically all the main cast members and even the showrunners, they all talked about how technology is this new threat and how it's in main focus of this season. And, you know, at the panel at Comic-Con, they were fully involved in this. They actually revealed prior to actually saying it in the panel about Obsidian. In some of the interviews they were talking about Obsidian, we were like, huh, what is Obsidian? And so they explained that it is a sort of labs, like sort of like Star Labs or like a tech company, sort of like a cross between that. And we know that Kelly's going to be working for Obsidian and... So, in this synopsis, it teases that Jean Jones and Kelly use Obsidian tech to solve a problem. So, how do they get that tech? Kelly works there now, and that is what she's doing. I'm not sure if she's working in tech specifically, or maybe just in the company. And I believe a few other people from the cast is actually going to be around Obsidian a bit more this season. I don't really remember what it was, but yeah, someone is. I don't know. And so, yeah. Technology becomes a new threat. Supergirl, Alex and Brainiac thwart an alien attack while William investigates Kara. So this alien attack, not too sure what it is. Like, maybe there's been some behind the scenes stuff, but off the top of my head, I can't remember what alien attack it might be. Could be anything. But the most interesting part is William investigates Kara. So why is he investigating Kara? Is it because she's a reporter, or is it because he thinks she's Supergirl? So is Supergirl's identity going to be in jeopardy again? Is William involved with Lena and her sort of storyline this season of, you know, trying to get revenge at Supergirl and Kara? 
I think that would be a really good way. I don't really think that's going to happen. I think he's going to be, you know, working for like an agency or, you know, some sort of private firm or something like that. And I don't know specifically why he would be investigating apart from the obvious, which is, oh, Kara is Supergirl. So it remains to be seen and I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, so let's move on to talk about these photos. So the first photo for episode two we're in Sean's office, we got Kara as her reporter self, you know, wearing her reporter clothes, James is there, I got like some sort of coffees or something, it doesn't really matter. So Sean is in the ground, he's in pain, he looks like he's sort of in like a cramp position, but it's obviously not a cramp, I think it's someone, you know, fucking with his mind, you know, because his powers and everything like that. Then we get this new photo of James inside Sean's place again, wearing the same clothes, nothing special about that, just, you know, a simple shot. And so we get another photo, we've got all this stuff on the desk, so they are doing some sort of experiment or something, you know, with technology for sure, because, you know, they got the iPad out, they're like sticking it into like a hard drive and sticking it somewhere else, I don't know. And in the next photo, it's in Jean's place again, but Alex is in it as well. So there is some sort of glove, so maybe Alex is, you know, being, you know, her more doctor side of herself, don't know, but... You know, they're in normal clothes, not DEO clothes or anything like that. We got this photo of Kara in her reporter gear. Just a normal photo, nice photo as well. And same with Brainy, same place, nothing too special. We got Kelly inside Obsidian, so you get to see the screen revealing a brain scan. So, you know, she's investigating something via this technology. And yeah, so moving on, this confirms what br the brain scan is it is after that incident at Sean's place you know like I said something's fucked with his brain his head and Kelly's doing the brain scan at Obsidian and we got another photo we got James and John and Kelly same place so you know James is there as well and I think this is when they're using that new technology that Lena uses in the trailer because John's eyes got the weird sort of circular thing going on and we've got Lena in a lab, don't know if it's the Obsidian lab, I reckon it's her own, it kind of looks like her own, so we've got a few photos of that, nothing too special, apart from, we got this shot right here, in that same lab, and this is Julie Gonzalo playing her new character, Andrea Rojas, and so she's there, very interesting that she's there with Lena, you can see in this photo, they're talking together, and there's multiple photos of that, so that's all very very exciting to see Julie come in I'm very excited for her character so fingers crossed she is great okay so let's move on let's talk about episode 3 we've got a synopsis the title for this episode is blurred lines we actually found that out that was a funny thing because of the script leak just saying okay so this is how the episode 3 of season 5 synopsis goes be careful who you trust Kara attempts to mend her relationship with Lena. John Jones takes a deep dive into his memories, while Kelly tries to help an old friend. Okay, so let's talk about this. Alright, so, Blurred Lines is the title. We know this episode is going to have flashbacks. So, John takes a deep dive into his memories. That is the thing that they say in the synopsis. We know this. There's going to be a past version of John in this episode, so a younger version, there's going to be a younger version of Malafaic, his brother, so his brother's going to be heavily involved in this episode, and it's going to be John deep diving into his past, but also on the other side, as it says in the synopsis, Kara is going to attempt to mend her relationship with Lena, and I think that's where we're going to get most of the stuff that we got in the recent trailers. I think maybe some of it's in episode one, but I think, you know, a decent portion of it's going to be in episode two. So that's exciting to see, to see that they are, you know, developing that. I want to see what direction they go. I think it could go bad, but I think more than likely it can go really well with how they develop that new sort of relationship and trying to mend it with Lena because it was a great way to sort of break it off at the end. Okay, so moving on. So Kelly tries to help an old friend. This old friend, I don't know who it is. I mean, it could be Julie Gonzalo's character. Like, it could be... Andrea Rojas, there is a chance, but it's not Jean or anyone on the team because, you know, they're not old friends, they're new friends. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.